MPODV has been chosen as the winner of a competition to design a new library for Wuhan, which will be one of China's largest. The large-scale project provides varied learning environments, reading and studio spaces, and connects to its surroundings through three wide apertures that display the light inside the buildings and welcome guests to enter. The unusual building, which spans over 140,000 square meters, changes its volume to reflect its location at the junction of two major rivers in Wuhan and has become a recognizable landmark for the city. The library, located in Wuhan's central business district, goes beyond literary and information services by providing users with access to scientific and technological information as well as research resources. The structure also aspires to be a welcoming and open area for all. The building shapes are inspired by Wuhan's geography. While the large openings draw attention to some of the main features of the surroundings, a low, wide window provides a panoramic view of the nearby park while the curving window embraces the adjacent plaza and connects the interior and exterior. The landscape generated at the confluence of rivers has an impact on interior areas as well. Step terraces on bookcases suggest sculptural canyons, while vast ground floor areas allow public circulation paths to flow around the building. The library's various activities are housed in pavilion-like rooms on the terraces, with quiet reading spots and group study spaces creating the topography of the bookshelves. As a result, the central reading canyon becomes the primary space that connects all parts of the building. In Wuhan's hot temperature, several measures are made to reduce energy use. Louis in a bookshelf-like design are incorporated into the building's fard. In regions that require the most shade, these louvers are more thickly packed. Tantalivers from Lana also provide shade, and openable parts allow for natural ventilation. Solar panels are integrated into the flowing roof design of the library to give renewable energy to the structure. To other cooling, the exterior spaces are landscaped with tall trees, while the main public areas are shaded by the northwest corner of the structure. Maintenance requirements are reduced to a bare minimum when native vegetation species are used. For China, MVRDV has created a number of libraries before this one. The Tianjin Binhai Library, 
a 33,700 square meters cultural complex with a bright spherical auditorium and floor-to-ceiling bookcases, opened to the public in 2017. MVRDV will also finish the idea factory, a makeover of a disused factory building in the Shenzhen urban hamlet of Nanto, China in 2021. Instead of dismantling and replacing the structure, the intervention reuses and improves it.